just like to say, sir, that, uh, thank you. I think in one of your newsletters, you've mentioned the participation of Philippines in the, even in just little ways to help, uh, to help the, the cove. And I think that encourages a lot of people, even though it's just through signing pledges and uh, signing petition letters. That's that's a big encouragement for us who can just do little things. And for us po dito sa Philippines, I would just like to know if we have any any plans or if we already did some action and what were the responses of the major broadcasting companies because there there was an issue here that there was a uh there was a mama that was abused uh by a little kid and then uh it turned out to be that the there was lack of education with the people around the neighborhood Kaya that's why it resulted to that to that situation and i think the the power somehow in the philippines Lies to still lies in the hands of the major broadcasting company. So I would like to know if we have any really responses or plans to interact with them. And then another one. Um, I'm sorry. This may be a lot. Um, if we have, do we have any information if we might be getting mislabeled um, meat products, um, tuna labeled as tuna when they are actually dolphins or whales here in the Philippines? Because I don't think I've ever encountered that kind of information. Thank you very much. Um, with regards to the first uh, question about media, I'm actually very glad. Uh, in the Philippines, when we have an action, a press conference, it's all, always covered by the media. Um, I'm, we're very encouraged because even though Filipinos do not normally see dolphins, they're very curious about it. Uh, and the media sends out the, the message that we want uh, to come across. And some of them get it immediately. So we have very good supporters in media. Well, at the same time, the opposition also has. But when the truth is on your side, it's just, you know, it's just so easy to, to, uh, to, to, to repeat. You know? um, with regards to your, your second question about uh, mislabeling, okay, we have a program, uh, Earth Island Institute. Uh, where we monitor uh, tuna cans, make sure that uh, they don't catch dolphins together with the tuna. No such thing has ever happened. Dolphin meat is definitely very different from fish meat, and we make sure that this does not, um, you know, get included in your tuna cans. In your grocery stores, you will see if you buy your century tuna, your permex, your five five fives. There may be a small logo there with a dolphin that looks like this. Um, those. Companies that produce that are monitored by Earth Island Institute, and we trace. We actually trace the source of the fish where they catch it, make sure that there there are no dolphins killed in their operations. 